So here we are, just kicking it in the back of the brick again. So what's going on, y'all? Once again, doing some much needed testing, that's all. At least it's comfortable, that's a plus. Today's clip is on a huge trail that my wife, Havoc, and I ended up taking before the winter set in this year. Yes, it was a big challenge, I promise you that. In more ways than I could probably describe to tell you the truth. And to tell you the truth, I'd do it again. Not right now though. But definitely in the future days, I promise you that. Yeah, this video that I'm about to drop on y'all is dealing with uh, one of the trails called uh, Split Rock Trail that is up there on the uh, Casper Mountain here, uh, Rotary Park and the uh, Waterfall and Bridal Trail and a bunch of other different types of trails that switch pick back and forth and cross over through each other up on this mountain. And the one we decided to do was Split Rock Trail this time because we really wanted to see the uh, cavern that you're allowed to walk through and it was just kind of cool to uh, check out. Anyway, not to hold you up with a long intro, this vlog is long enough. So, once again, stick around and enjoy the show. Woo! Okay, well... Another beautiful morning. Mama Havoc and I are back at the waterfall, uh, Casper Mountain uh, trails, and we're getting ready to do a really big task today that we have truly never done. I'm basically uh, trying to recoup as far as uh, health-wise. Kind of got a scratchy throat and a little bit of other things going on. And right now, once again, I'm eating some dandelions to help get that benefit of, you know, the benefits of uh, the, uh, you know, nutrients that are in them to uh, help me with this because it's thin air up here and I've coughed up a lot. I've got extra things on me as far as lemon. I got a couple of lemons on me. We got some water. Get ready to pour myself a cup of coffee. But uh, we're already out here and uh, this is a. Uh, I think it's called Split Rock Trail, and uh, I actually got a chest piece I'm gonna be putting on today. So. Hmm. It's still hurting it since mine's hot. He does this electrolyte. Uh, what else you put in this? Aloe juice in her uh, water right now, and it helps her with uh, a lot of different, you know basically gut health right mom and uh yeah uh -huh. we got about 10 dandelions here i ain't lying i'm a little scared <laughs> pretty cool it looks big <laughs> but uh we're here for majority of the day uh, to do this this morning. This is practically all we really got planned out for today. This way I could stop when I need to. I've had to recoup honestly for two days straight, just letting my legs and everything heal up after we came up on the mountain, honestly, just a few days ago. Um, and did some pretty cool uh, spots that we scaled up as far as uh, natural steps and platforms out here by the uh, waterfall. But right now we're about to do this, and it's a good thing that we're doing it today because we're getting supposedly super cold and snow coming in here this next week huh so this is the perfect window we're gonna knock this out today what you already got stickers look at that <laughs> right here boy we're gonna have some fun with him on this trip on, on out here again this is gonna be bad oh no all right anyway i got my chest piece here we get ready to lock it in okay after doing a couple of double backs to make sure we're on the proper trail. Um, I figure I'd go ahead and turn the camera on and share certain views that I haven't even taken this trail yet. So that's what we're practically doing at this moment.
Sitting down, taking a well-deserved rest. And uh, I honestly want you to see this trail. That's a pretty steep incline. If I was to slip, this would not be good for anything. Uh, but yeah, the trail just came this direction from over there. And uh, right into this at this moment. Uh, we're going to see, because there's another trail that goes step, that steps up over there. Right there. Uh, but yeah, we're taking a break. But man, beautiful sight, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Definitely getting some of this well-deserved mucus out, I promise you. And uh, this is definitely good for the body. Better than laying in bed, I promise that too. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing this video in right now or any kind of commentary. I'll take pics and some uh, some shots as we do this. But yeah, this is truly getting to me. I ain't giving up yet. We're on the right path finally. And that's a plus. We made it this far. From what I heard, I just went through one of the hardest inclines. So I'll take that as a win. Our water line. Okay, we actually made it to a bench lookout point here on top of one of these super incline trails that uh, has been definitely giving me one heck of a workout. Uh, and uh, it's just shocked how this old man right here, almost 11 years old, he's mad at us because we're taking breaks. He's ready to keep going, right? Yeah. yeah but, uh, he doesn't want to stop. We're going to keep going. I'm going to keep Hawk spitting up this thing, uh, <laughs> this mucus, and get my lungs back to proper health. And uh, we're going to continue. Is he digging a hole? Yeah, he's going to hide his treat. He's going to hide his treat back there? That's exactly what he did. You you, yeah, I heard the digging. <laughs> you put. <laughs> He's a pre he's a prep stutter. I can I can't I can't I can't get mad at him. He's like these old people might die. I need my treats for later. Pretty much. Pretty much. You ain't lying on that. You know, you got to ration out. Not that he can't hunt. He's good at that too. But he ain't seen no rabbits or woodchucks yet, huh? No. Nope, yes. All right. Yeah. Here's another uh, shelf edge off this trail. Of uh, not too happy of a tumble up here and to the right in that dark area is where the waterfall is, and uh, that fire fire uh, water line is actually connected to the top of this waterfall. Uh, you know, for any type of emergencies that go on out here. I mean, heck, I believe uh, I'll be showing some of the unfortunates of. Uh, some burning that happened up here years back uh, if I haven't shown it already okay and uh, that's where we're at on that see how well it comes in on this camera here mama just said you can see the top of the waterfall from here oh yeah whoa watch your feet I don't know if you can see it, I believe so. I'm gonna zoom in on that here and let y'all take a good peek since I got a good angle right here.
Mama went ahead and took a uh, adventure ahead of me just to make sure we're going the right direction because this splits off going past that pole or it switches back going that direction. And uh, we're at the point where we, where, yeah, you know, I gotta just limit my turns. Um, but yeah, this just proves, like I said, there are so many different trails out here to uh, enjoy and explore. Even though I'm having a hard time doing it, honestly, every time I take a break and I catch my breath, I take it all in. And uh, if you know what I mean, you definitely know what I mean. Making sure Mr. Puppy's staying well hydrated. Uh, we're up here at the top of the Catherine Mountain on one little side of this uh, trail. Uh, like I said, all these tie in together from bridal trail to split trail to all the trails. So thank God there's posts. And if you look right there on that tree, somebody has started uh, spray painting yellow dots. And uh, we believe it's the one for Split Rock because as we've been on Split Rock, we followed the yellow dots. Uh, so just thought we'd share that, you know, mama kind of caught that one in her eye and figured she'd uh, explain that one to me. It kind of makes sense, but we're not 100% trusting that. We're following the signs too in the map, right? Just an extra awareness. Beautiful shaded area. Uh, run across some uh, beautiful attitudes with other people on the trail, you know. Uh, and uh, we're continuing on. Okay, this trail has actually done a couple of switchbacks. There's a post right there. As you can tell, I'm above. Just doing a couple of switchbacks for you to get up this elevation. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. Check out this view right here. Look at that. Freaking beautiful, man. Yeah, this is by far my hardest task to date since my medicals this is a uh, definitely a huge step up this beats devil's tower and a lot of other things but man this is beautiful i think we're halfway there we'll find out i'm not sure i don't care mama just let me take breaks when i need to and that's i'm okay with that Yeah, that rock I actually zoomed in on, that's got 90 degree angles on it. I'm kind of curious what, all, what that was about. Uh, whenever it was, well, who carved it and why? That ain't natural. I can tell you that for sure, right there. That's pretty cool to see up here. And that's the only one that looks like that out of all the other boulders and rocks here on this, uh, this bank. And that's uh, definitely easily a bunch of tons. Ain't no reason for them to drag that up here just to drop it off. So what was that all about is what I want to know. Still going up after, I don't know, about 30 or 40 switchbacks that we've had to do to get it to where we need to go. And uh, as, you can see, as you can see in here, I'm running out of juice, but we're going to keep going because I don't give up this far in. I just don't.
Sundays. Mama now let me lay on a rock and uh, have it laying down somewhere. There he is. And uh, trying to regain some energy. We shouldn't have far now to get to our halfway point, right, Mama? Okay. I ain't trying to be that are we there yet kid either. Just go to quick inquiry. I've always used to say when I was going through chemo and stuff, at least the pain lets you know you're alive. That's about the best way I can look at this. Like I was telling her, she's being very worried on so many different aspects. You know, we're joking, you know, hey, you know, at least if you, you know, you die, you die doing what you love and this all will be in your eulogy. So this is kind of a euphoric tiration exhaustion. You know what I mean. I'm okay with that. Oh yeah. Definitely high in elevation now. Alright, Mama got me taking a break at a really beautiful spot. Check out that view right there. Yeah, when I stand up, I... Oh, yeah, you can't hear me talk. I'll, uh, I'll see her over the cliffside real quick. I can't share much more because, heck, I'm doing good just to keep myself going. And once we get to Split Rock, we're really going to take a break there. And, uh... That's where we're at on that. All I gotta say is, man, this is definitely something. Wow. I ain't got time to really truly talk now, but I'll probably add some extra little insights here on the outro whenever I put all this together. This is gonna be a long one. Okay, well, like my wife said, as you see there in the background, I made it. I at least made it to Split Rock. It's freaking cool. Man, am I on fumes right now. But uh, she went ahead a little further. There's supposed to be the table and some potable water up here. We're gonna take about a 30 minute break up here and rehydrate and I got some uh, extra energy uh, provisions on me, you know, to take care of uh, Hopefully get me back down and uh, we'll figure out our strategy from there. Right now, man, I could honestly roll over and take a nap right now. <laughs> and uh, that's where we're at on that. And here's the side I actually walked through to go sit on that rock on the other side. Here we go. Man, this is beautiful up here. I'm glad we did this. So, 
Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and just show split rock from this view and basically do a quick little tour and tutorial walkthrough. I can barely talk, I'm so tired. And oh golly, he almost fell. Here's my balance. But it's okay. This is pretty cool. Look at it from this angle. Yeah. Neat. And uh we're gonna move on and see if we can catch up with mama here just to get around the corner a little bit. And uh Go from that. We're putting this back up. Make sure we have our hands if we need them. Okay. We finally made it to where we were told there's a table and some potable water. Um, we've been here for, what, a half hour practically now. Honestly, I've been having to recoup because I, I went through a serious cold spurt. And I just laid here trying to gain my warmth back because I've used every bit of energy just to get up here right now. Um, but now I'm going to use this adrenaline. As you can see, one of my favorite things, I swear it helped me, you know, I swear it has helped me get through cancer right here. And also it's got the electrolytes, it's got the, uh, it's got everything you need. You know, the alkaline is basically an energy drink in a yellow form. <laughs> so I got this, got some natural potable water from, where is it? Right there, there's a little uh, pipe of water that just comes out. Uh, Mom refilled one of the bottles that we had, and I said I'd rather just have the potable water. And uh, we're going to just move on from here. Uh, but yeah, somebody was nice enough to set up a freaking nice table, which I was able to lay out on. And Mama was nice enough. She gave me her shirt, and we just tried to sit here and warm up as much as I could. But, you know, it's cold. It's in the 50s for sure. Right? Yeah. Right now, it's just got a cold chill, and with the moisture right here, it's adding to it. So we're going to move and warm our bodies up. Hey, Mama wanted to share something. What is it now? From Fort, where we started. 14,905 feet in elevation. It is what we've done uh, to get where we're at right now. That is incredible. <laughs> From the parking lot to here. That's a serious incline. How about that? Man. Okay, well... <laughs> Let's start going. It's another share here of uh, gotta love the people of Casper if the state can't provide, you know. Bring in uh, the table around the corner there and now a bench. Pretty cool. Hold on a second. Go ahead and say that again. Attention Bridal Trail users, the garden on your right represents a memorial garden created by this private property owner to remember, memorialize, and honor children who lost their lives from the truth. The items in this memorial garden are not merely simple garden trinkets. Each one represents the life of a child that has been lost. They have been placed here by the families of those lost children in honor and remembrance of those precious lives lost. Out of respect for the families that have lost a child and that have memorialized the child's life in this garden, as well as his private property owner, please do not remove any items from this memorial garden. If you or someone you know has removed anything from this memorial garden, please return it immediately. So yeah, take a look at this. This is honestly on the backside of one of the cabins that are up here on the mountain. And this is the garden right here for that uh, little sign that Jules actually started speaking about. Right here. Okay. It's really cool. Never has to be much, it just has to be the thought, right? That was really awesome. Sorry giving out to those families, huh? Those children. We're gonna keep on moving. Even if you want to sit out here and read a little bit, there's a book. How about that? Grab a book, leave a book, take a book. Some more of the garden right through here. And, uh, and some more of the garden right over here. It's just kind of cool to see out here, you know. We're definitely on a downhill descent right now, which is 
a plus for me. And uh, that's telling me we're over halfway now. And uh, I'm gonna keep on rolling. It's just pretty cool to see all these extra chairs for people to come out here and sit and relax, especially when you're feeling like me, pretty lethargic or just wanna have the peace and quiet of being out here in the middle of nowhere, you know? Yeah, this right here is honestly above the waterfall. All this right here. So yeah, if we were to just follow this down, we might, oh my goodness, just find the waterfall itself. forced to take a, take a break, but honestly, Mama said it was worth it. So, check out this angle too. Isn't that something? This is truly a happy bucket list uh, mark off for me. Okay. Further down the trail right here, once again, beautiful, beautiful scenery. But also in this scenery, there's an oddball that sticks out and it's right there. And I don't even know how old that car is, but you can tell it's been there for quite a while. Ain't that something? It's just, you know, Mother Earth is taking her back. And uh, yeah, imagine what it took to get that thing in here. Sure came down that freaking washway years ago. Who knows how, either fun or, you know, worst case scenario, you know the deal. So just wanted to share that, pretty cool. Just to give you an idea, we're basically, yeah, just going down through another zigzag pattern as we went up on the other side of the mountain. We were over there somewhere. Not sure where at this moment, I could care less. I'm tired. But we took a break here because Mama found something cool. She found a cave that honestly I'd be probably staying in if we weren't that much further from the car. It ain't a joke because I don't know how much I got left, but. I gotta do it. But besides me, look how cool that is right inside this rock right here. Nice little cave dwelling set up spot, you know. Definitely do an all nighter or an overnighter in that if you could. You're not supposed to out here in this park, but you know. You get lost. You get lost. Hey, you got shelter, that's all I gotta say. Yep. And I'm sure somebody has used it. Or it's so snowy and raining. Mm -hmm. This one right here is just so full of energy. He gets mad, he's whining right now because we take a stop. Huh, you happy mountain doggy? See, he's a mountain dog, he's just ready to keep going. Uh, which, that right there just reinstates how I feel about him with his age and I hope we keep him around for another 10 years. <laughs> Far-fetched, but you know, hey, we'll keep him healthy too, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. One more time, just a quick little visual for me sitting there and taking a break. And I do this video vlogging as well to help sidetrack my mind from my body. And that's just a little mental thing there. Got some placebo effects going on right now. This is why I'm not filming and walking at the same time because a lot of it is even more sketchier than what you see right there. And like I said, my muscle mass is 
Uh, I'm in the muscle failure right now. I'm numb, cold. Uh, you know, I ain't gotta say it. And uh, yeah, it's just better to put the camera up and know my chest piece. I took that off up there when I laid on that picnic table. It was just much easier to continue going on. And right now, yeah, lovely, lovely break again. But uh, Mama said we're almost done, right? Down here again, another uh, switch back. And sure enough, there's a bench right here to sit and enjoy the view and recoup a little bit. Yeah, I'm already getting leg spasms here and there. <laughs> I don't think uh, I need to share the, the noises that come out my mouth when that happens. Just like someone with a voodoo doll, just having fun with my feet. Uh, but uh, we're doing it. Oh man, look at that view. Yep, we're right here with some familiar territory. We're about to wrap this up because uh, no need to record again what I've just about, you know, what I already posted. So that's practically where we're at. Well, I could definitely, I guess, leave off of showing the, the platform. I know where I'm at for sure. And if you watched the past video, you definitely know this point too. So uh, there's no need for me to add more. I'm tired, I'm done, but man, I wanted to make sure I did this right, at least in all different angles, not just for the vlogging, just wanted to do it for myself too. But shoot, if you could hit two birds, three birds at one stone, do it all. And uh, yeah. So if you actually uh, ended up getting to the end of this vlog like I actually did uh, I'm happy for you and on top of that to let you know once I got finished with that trail uh, it really meant a lot to me in in more ways than I could probably explain uh, the best thing I could basically tell you is the moment I had finally got into the car and got down the road a little bit um, it really truly hit me onto how much uh, I was able to push myself to get through that and kind of hit me on an emotional aspect of that nature. Uh, but anyway, that's about it. I'm going to share on that. I'm sure, you know, you guys have seen enough there that I've shared on this vlog. And that's where we're at on that. Catch you on the next flip flop. Okay, let's put this up. Dang, this is going to be a long vlog. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, record. <laughs>